Hey guys, Hack Exploit here, back again with another video and welcome to the web penetration testing series where we're going to be getting started with our first video. Uh, I know I've touched upon WordPress scan and stuff like that, but this is now, you know, taking you through the basics and moving your way up. All right. So for those of you asking about Hydra and the word lists, I will be uploading the word list to my website after upload this video. Uh, as for Hydra, Hydra belongs to the cracking, uh, the cracking, the cracking section, which we'll be getting to. But, uh, you know, that's really focused on cracking services on ports, uh, and credentials, you know, stuff like that. So it really doesn't come into play when we're talking about web penetration testing. All right. So in this video, we're going to be looking at Nikto, which is a web vulnerability scanner, uh, or a web, uh, it's a web, web server security scanner. And it is, you know, it's fantastic for detecting vulnerabilities on the server. All right. Uh, now, the, the thing I like about Nikto, and I use it a lot in the professional, uh, you know, in, you know, for professional projects, it really detects server misconfiguration. Now, what do I mean? You know, most of the time, uh, you know, system administrators or, you know, w the, the people who actually set up the website hosting, they really don't know what they're doing. Uh, well, and this comes, you know, in, in forms of uh, leaving subdomains wide open for people to, you know, just find and uh, furthermore exploit. Uh, but, you know, just finding random server misconfiguration, like misconfiguring ports, uh, you know, uh, let's see something like the the get and post uh, commands, uh, all of that great stuff, which, you know, might sound a bit confusing to you if you're a beginner now. But when we'll be moving along, you know, using tools like Burp Suite, we'll get all, we'll get into this really, really uh, in, in depth, right? Uh, so let's get started. Now I'm going to be using the web, uh, the WordPress uh, virtual machine or the WordPress server that we actually configured. So I've reset it again and it is using new credentials that I, I'm unaware of, but the IP address is still the same. And I've opened it up uh, on my uh, on my, on Mozilla Firefox. There we are. That's the IP address 192.168.1.108, and it is uh, indeed the WordPress site that is being hosted on the Debian server. Now, what I'm going to do is, as we move along, I'm going to actually log in uh, to the WordPress uh, site, and I'm going to update the WordPress version and the plugins to make it more secure. That way, it becomes a little bit more challenging. All right, uh, but for now we're going to be using, we're going to be looking at how to use Nikto, all right, to scan for any vulnerabilities that we might find on the site. So uh, as you can see, I already have it uh, locked to my favorites here uh, on my dock because I use it quite a lot. But to launch it, uh, it's really very simple. Just open up your terminal and just hit in Nikto, all right. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the help menu because uh, it is very, very important here. Uh, so that I can explain what each of the commands are, are, are and what they do and more specifically the commands that we're going to be looking at in this video. All right, so let me just open that up. And as you can see, uh, we've got um, from the right from the beginning, we can see that it's sorted really, really well. And this is why I really like uh, Nikto. Now, some of you might be asking or you might have this question in your mind. Well, you showed us about WordPress scan. Doesn't this just do the exact same thing? Well, WordPress scan is only designed to sniff out vulnerabilities on a WordPress website. The good thing about Nikto is it works on any web, web server or website for that matter. And you know, once you know that, it's really, really fun, fantastic because it works on any site or any web server as we have already seen. Uh, so let's look at what these commands do. Now, some of the most important commands are the DB check, which ch checks for databases, uh, the format, which allows us to change the, the output format, more specifically the, the help, um, the help menu, which is specified here, which is again is great because it gives you help. We then have the host, very, very important, allows you to select the host, which without this command, you would not be able to use Nikto you know, pretty much. All right, you then have uh, plugins to list all the plugins. You then have the output, which allows you to output uh, your results into a file. Uh, very, very important if you're a penetration tester to always have documentation of all the scans you're performing. Uh, you have no SSL, which disables uh, using SSL. Um, the port, which we're going to be using uh, in this video, we're going to be specifying to use the default port, which is port 80, which I'll show you how to specify. You can also change the port if you want to which, you know, would make a lot of sense uh, unless you're performing some serious scan uh, that is more specialized. 
Uh, you then have your force SSL mode uh, on the port, which is not that important. You don't come across that a lot. And you can update it uh, and you can print the plugin and database versions if you want to. All right, so let's get started with the commands that we're going to be using. So I'm just going to clear this out and uh, we're going to get started now. So if we remember correctly, we're going to use Nikto and to specify the host, we use the H command. And after this, I would use the, uh, I would select the web, the website address or the domain for that matter, or the IP address as I'm going to be doing now. So 192.168, whoops, 0.1.108. Uh, and I've selected uh, that I'm, I've used the command, the H command, which means I'm using, that's the host. I now want to specify the port, which is the only other command that I'm going to be using. So we use the P and the we're specifying the port, which is port 80. And uh, let's hit enter and let's see what vulnerabilities we can find here. All right, so I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to detect the server, which is Apache, which we already know, uh, as we've looked at this previously. And uh, there we are, it's already got the cross uh, the cross site scripting protection header is not defined. That's a very, very huge vulnerability. We'll be looking at how to exploit all of these, uh, the, you know, uh, vulnerabilities like uh, cross site scripting uh, using tools like Burp Suite and, uh, you know, file upload vulnerabilities, all of that good stuff. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me about bug bounty uh, hunting and how do I get started because... You know, hacking on the web is a different ball game, to be honest. Uh, it's quite tricky because every site is configured differently. All right, so it's returned the results and you can look at all the vulnerabilities that uh, it was able to find out. Um, so the WordPress script uh, reveals the installed version, which is, uh, as you can see, that, that looks like a CVE version. Uh, cookie WordPress. Uh, so yeah, there's not a lot of uh, important stuff that we were able to gather from here. Again, it would be much more wise to scan a WordPress site with WordPress scan, but for other websites, this is fantastic. Um, so that is how to uh, scan for vulnerabilities that exist on a web server, uh, in, in this case, a WordPress site. Now let's look at one more command, which is the output command, which is very, very important. So we're going to try and output this on the desktop. So I'm just going to change my directory to my desktop. Uh, so like so, and let me just clear the terminal. Uh, so we're going to use the same command, um, which is Nikto H, which is the host 192.168.1.108. Uh, we're specifying the port, which is port 80. And now we have to specify the fact that we are using um, the output command. So O, and we specify the file name, which we're going to say uh, is, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just call it results. Uh, let's just call it Nikto results. Results, always good to name your, uh, your documentation appropriately. And now we want to specify the uh, file type, which in this case, we can just say uh, we use the command F, capital F. Uh, to specify the file type, the, the file extension. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to select .txt just to keep things basic and I'm going to hit enter. It's going to start the scanning process. And once the scanning process is complete, it's going to save, uh, it's actually saving the data right now uh, in real time as it's performing the scan. All right, so just give it a few seconds to complete the scan and we'll be able to see whether or not the information was stored in the file that we specified it to be stored in. All right, we'll be looking at all of these vulnerabilities uh, as we move along, but the first thing is to understand what we've got and how to gather information about a, a web server or a website. And this is the basic, you know, just getting started with it. It's uh, very, very good to get accustomed to the tools. All right, so as you can see, uh, it's completed. And uh, if we just check the desktop here, we have the Nikto results, there we are. Fantastic. If I just open up the file and it has stored all the information, very, very important that you store this information. It acts as a good way of, uh, of showing or it acts as documentation. And that is very important, especially for a penetration tester. All right. So that is going to be it for Nikto. We'll be moving along swiftly, uh, after this. And we know we'll be looking at cross site scripting, how to use burp suite, all of the great stuff. All right. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found value in this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions, any at all, hit me up on my social networks uh, or 
or uh, you know more specifically you can hit me up in the comment section if you have any personal questions please hit me up on kick one more thing by the way if i do not reply to your comment or question it doesn't mean that i do not want to it's because there are a lot of these comments and i have to go through them as much as i can and i try to reply to all of them because the comments are increasing as the channel is increasing and you know if i don't reply to your message please don't take it in the wrong way i will reply just give me a uh, you know uh, up to one or two days uh, at the latest I just want to thank you for all the support guys. Thank you for supporting me and I have something really really important that I want to announce soon. For those of you who are watching the video till now, uh you know, stay tuned for that and yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.